very, very good morning to you. It's Monday, the 22nd of January. Storm Aisha, Aisha, Isha, whatever it was, uh, that came in last night. Yes, we did get a storm, man. We did get winds and rain through the night. Didn't get up to the 70 mile an hour that they forecast. I would say there was there were strong 40, 45 mile an hour gusts, which is strong enough, I suppose. But look, the ice has gone. It's completely gone. And we've had a message off uh, some friends of ours that are heading to Faisley Junction today, but the opposite direction. We're going one way and they're coming the other. Uh, the Greens, um, and they've got no ice. So the winds obviously took care of it. The wind and rain has got rid of it all. I know we're going to have a windy cruise today. I don't know where we're going to end up or where we're going. We've got hot was, uh, about 45, 50 minute cruise. We like hot was, but there's there's nothing there really. There's no shop or anything. Um, but there's a water point at Faisley Junction. And we do need water. We also could do with a shop, really. Uh, we could walk into Whittington here, but I know there's, there are shops further on. So we'll see how we get on. We don't really know what the plan is. We might stop in Hotwas. We might carry on to Faisley, as we do need water. But, uh, well, you'll find out when we find out. I managed to say that in one go this morning. Very good. That was actually quite a nice mooring and you can see lots of fields over there mainly producing potatoes yes the humble spud um, Walker's crisps is one of the biggest crisp manufacturers in the UK in fact they're worldwide um, and most of their potatoes comes from this area really is nice but it's started to rain and just over here behind these boats I don't know whether we'll get a chance to see it here but I did pop out and film it yesterday, is a plaque. And there it is. Now, that plaque, if you want to get ready to... Uh, sorry, I've just got to watch the sun's in my eyes. And, no, no, he's staying poor. Um, that plaque is the border between the Coventry Canal and the Birmingham and Faisley Canal. So every bridge now on the Birmingham and Faisley doesn't have a number. It has a name and we may be turning up the Birmingham at Faisley uh, when we get to Faisley, if that makes any sense. But yes, that's the border. Get ready uh, to pause. I am putting a clip on now of the plaque that's there so you can pause it and have a read in your own time. And this is the first of the name bridge. Bridges, uh, Whittington Bridge. As I'm hoping you can see up there. Nicky's decided to come off the boat and have a walk with young Biscuit. So there's Biscuit with his little coat on. Having a nice walk with Mum.
little bit of blue sky to the port side but to the starboard side it's not looking good in fact it's raining already And this bridge I'm just slowing down because Nikki wants to walk through the military training zone, don't you? I have a hard hat. Do you? Yep. Okay then. So yes, this is Whittington Barracks training ground. There is actually a rifle range on the far side of there, so I'm hoping they're not very good shots. Sounds like cannons going on. So Well, Nicky's just warned me about a fir tree thing that's across the canal, so we've got to be careful here. I think I can just about see it. <laughs> so I've knocked the revs off. Just going to hopefully, gently, cruise by. And Hopwas Wood Bridge there marks the end of the military training zone where you, uh, we are almost immediately coming into Hopwas. Just behind Nicky there you can see uh, an old army pillbox there, a little lookout zone. 
It's a beautiful area. We have stopped in Hopwas Hop a, a couple of times and if we can find the vlog we'll put a link below if you want to have a, a walk of this round Hopwas. We're not stopping here at all today, we're running straight through to Faisley to top up at water tanks. Here comes the rain again. There are two pubs in Hot Wasps. To our port side, as we go through the bridge here, is the Tame Otter. Obviously, we've got the River Tame here. And then to the right-hand side, we have the Red Lion. Now, Nikki and I can vouch for the Red Lion, especially their breakfasts. I think it was from 10 o'clock in the morning. They do cracking breakfasts, or they used to anyway. It's getting very windy again now. Not nice at all, but we do need water. And to be honest, I think we've done hot wash. There's the red lion. To the right hand side, or the starboard side. As I say, beautiful breakfasts. And then to the port side, you've got the tame otter. There are moorings right outside the tame otter here. But uh, no, we've never been. several trees down today and Nicky's just speaking to a boater that's uh, moored up a little bit further on. There is a tree blocking the canal so we've got to get under this next bridge and moor up because we're not getting any further. Well that's it. We're stuck. Uh, there is a tree down Further on, a gentleman came over and warned us. We managed to tie up very, very loosely. But uh, let's go for a walk and we'll show you these trees. And as you can see, this is no little job. So as you can see, and possibly hear the winds getting up again, we're stuck. Well and truly stuck. There is actually another tree past these two that's down that you can't, I can't pick up on camera. CRT have been informed, 
I don't know how long we're going to be here, but uh, here we go. Da, da, da. See you later, folks.